Life as a sailor is much more exciting, at least. Perhaps. But I would have preferred to choose my own destiny. Did you want anything else? Oh! Had you ever heard about- No! Previously on Greedfall. Oh my gosh, she's got a nice butt! Sorry, uh, anyway. Oh, it's you. Oh, is my our mom child. okay? Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine. Where's first. our freaking cousin? Right. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. Excuse me? Is and who am I? <laughs> Riches to expedite and a demanding father. Hey! <laughs> You dumb idiot! It's your cousin. cousin! It's me! My fair cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fight. Oh my god, am I gonna fight something right now? <gasps> Great fall! Yay! We're here! Jessica and welcome back to Greedfall. So we are finally here at Tier de Farde, but this is actually going to be called New Serene uh, on the quest for the new island so that we can move our people to that place and you know ho hopefully find a cure also for the diseases that all the people have been uh, suffering from. But uh, we got a new party member, it's uh, Vasco because he got kicked off as a quartermaster or whatever. So uh, let's talk to him. Desarde. Hi. Can I do anything for you? Yes. You know what? Not gonna lie, I kinda like Vasco too, so this is gonna be a problem. Who am I gonna romance in this game? <laughs> you seem to be mad at me for some reason. Do you still resent the fact that I called your ship a boat? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. Nobility makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I was rude. Oh, that's okay. Um... <laughs> Ask him if it was your charm that made him change his mind. <laughs> I kind of want to say that. Did my charm make you change your mind? And I was starting to believe that you were different. Did you want anything else? Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so Kurt... Okay, this is what I'm finding with the personality so far. I can flirt with Kurt. He likes that. He likes it when I'm being, like, stupid. Vasco doesn't seem to like that. I really thought he was going to play it up, but I guess he's more serious than I thought. Um, but th I, I think the third romance in this game is a lady, so, you know, uh, I might like the lady, so we'll see about later. I don't want to decide yet. I'm just going to flirt with everyone, though, because that's what I usually do when there's romance, uh, romance options in RPGs. I just flirt with everyone until I decide who I want to romance, so uh, we'll see about it later. How did you become a knight? As you may have guessed... I am sea given. I was given to the Norths when I was a little child for a reason I ignore. I think I was originally from the congregation, but I have no memory of my family. That's kind of sad, steps though. On the deck of a ship. That's all I can remember. Did you want anything else? Uh, no, it's cool. I must leave you. So, like, he doesn't even know about his like, like birth family. I should say. Um, anyway, I don't know where Constantine went, he kind of just ran away, uh, so hopefully he doesn't get into trouble, but I have a feeling our dear cousin is probably gonna cause a lot of trouble for us. Even though I love him, he is kind of, uh, you know, dumb. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know what kind of supplies I'm gathering, I'm just getting everything for now. Um, but we should head over to the palace and see what Constantine is doing. Okay, so we're in a new district. Obviously, it's very appealing for people of Serene to want to move here because, like, again, there's no diseases. It seems like they're doing well here. And it seems to be a lot safer because, like, there were some thugs in the street in Serene because everyone's, like, freaking out and they're, like, desperate for money, right? So, um, I can see why. But at the same time, when you settle in a new area, especially in a new, like, example, country, you don't know who originally lived there. There's native people who are from there, and that's what uh, I think the conflict we're gonna have run into later on is uh, dealing with that. Anyway. Oh? That's why. dao quint. Is this the girl? Wait. Attention, soldier. Let me pass. I must see the chief of your village. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at her. Whatever could be so funny. 
Now, who would you be to seek an audience with the governor? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid. My mother is Amal, the chief of our clan. Okay. I am here as an emissary of my people, and I must see your chief, your governor. And so you're a princess, then? A what? <sighs> Let her pass. Your Majesty, I shall present you to Oh my god! Come. I like her princess, already! Majesty, you are most confusing. But thank <laughs> you for your help. They're so mean to her. I hate this. Be nice to this girl. Oh, um, Siora. That's her name, right? Can we use light blade and rage element? Oh, she's a she's a mage. She's a freaking mage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Oh, I have to remove someone. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm gonna take a Vasco. No offense to you. I'm very sorry. Uh. V Vasco, you gotta go for a while. Okay, let's go. Can I talk to her? Honor Manawi, do you need something? I notice she has the same type of thing as Desarde. Is Desarde like half of this? Like, I don't know who her father is, so okay, wait, 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 wait. The first time you saw me. Did you really think I was Yeah, a because of her mark. Aside from the way you dress, you resemble a native. I have never seen an Onol Manawi amongst the Renagse before. Is it so surprising that I made this mistake? No, it's a reasonable, like, reaction. You'd be like, oh, that's someone like me. I can talk to them. Because obviously all these people are just very hostile towards her. Ask her if a singular appearance makes you more attractive. <laughs> Tell her that you find this resemblance unsettling. No, I don't want to be- I actually kind of like her. I may romance her. Oh my god. No, I understand. And I hope that this singular appearance makes me more attractive to you. <laughs> Perhaps if your difference wasn't merely physical, but your heart is evidently the heart of a Renaigse. Anything else? Renaigse? Is that how you- is that their people? I've never heard you talk about your father. Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. He died many cycles ago, but this memory is still painful. So we usually avoid the subject. What oh, okay. happened to him? He was killed as he tried to escape the lions who wanted to capture him. My mother never really recovered from it. This is one of the reasons why she decided to go to war. Anything else? Okay, okay. I, I understand. See I understand. Alright, let, let's go talk to um, freaking Constantine because he's the governor here and let's see if he's gonna say something smart and not stupid. Whoa. Whoa, this is like a big ass place. Alright, we gotta go upstairs. Alright, let's go in here. There you are, fair cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your oh company? Oh my god, don't start. <laughs> I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Mal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. Yeah. If you would allow me, Princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Okay. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire. The time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. I know. Go and parlay with, um, the queen, fair cousin. 
Try and put an end <clears throat> to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. Okay. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Yeah, I imagine safe so. Travels. I got my ass Fair beat cousin. earlier. <laughs> and watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Aw, my lovely cousin. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to her mom, see if we can help her out. But I have a feeling her mom is probably not gonna agree with this whole, like ceasefire kind of thing but it would make sense to send Sarde. i haven't even named her yet if anyone wants to give me name suggestions for her please let me know in the comments but like when we go it's because we look like her people so it, it it makes sense that you know we would go um anyway oh can i talk to kurt or something green blood there's something i would like to talk to you about what's up i'm listening i recruited a young man for the guard a few months ago talented very talented and honorable. I've been tracking his progress and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. Oh, it's I his would personal like you quest. To meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My okay. opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well in any case. I see. Okay. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard. Precisely. And your opinion has weight. That's right. So then, basically, Constantine would you is like, like to our brother. Me to meet him? Um. Yeah. You know what? Let's go meet the recruit first. It's not bad. That I'm, I I want to do the companion's personal uh, quests because I, again, I want to have a good relationship with everyone. So uh, yeah. Let's go. Raina must be with the other recruits in the barracks. Okay. Oh, my team is full, so I can only bring. Friend in your pack, but I was mistaken. I am full of surprises, pretty she wolf. <laughs> Kurt, don't be rude. Okay, so it looks like we can only have three, uh, two party members at a time. I don't know, if, like later on, if that will like go up in numbers. I would like if Vasco could come with us, but you know. Sade, you have a moment. What's up, dude? Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. Why does everyone need my help all of a sudden? <laughs> this island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps Okay, you want me to there. discover areas. So I appreciate it. If, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. Sure. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Yeah, that killed me three times? Bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island. And your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during Great, the Great, so we gotta to find the guy him. now. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult. But this is the price of wisdom, Desade. All right. Um. So we got more side quests. All right. This is must be the barracks. So let's see if we can find the recruit. Hello. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service? I'm looking for the soldier, Reina. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never what? heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news? Great, of him? the guy's In missing. Serene, just before our departure, but that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, should I have a word with the quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? Okay, that's uh, everything we need to know. Thank that you. That will be all. At ease, soldiers. Damn, I kind of like- Damn, this is why I have difficulties romancing all these, like, freaking characters in RPGs. They're all, like, I wanna 
Romance all of them. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. It's Captain Kurt. Manfred. Still a quartermaster? Always, as you can see. What can I do for you? Uh, okay, we gotta ask about Rainier. I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rainer. I would like Rainer, for His Excellency sorry. to meet him. Rainer? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. What? Informed about what? He is dead. He was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. Why? I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. Okay. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. <laughs> Excellent idea. At least you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, that, that's everything. Okay, no, thank you. let's go to the morgue and investigate this. That sounds suspicious. He just, he drank too much and fell in. Why does it sound so weird? Oh, well, here it is. I found the staircase. It's on the side. That's why I couldn't see it. But, uh... I guess I go in here. Well, now, a Hello. Visit. Can I help you with something? Yes! We are here concerning the matter of Recruit Rainer. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. Okay. Uh, what day did this guy come here? When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. Fellows? They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rainer was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn. And they brought him to me. Okay, more details. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Can we see the Can body? We take a look at the body. Um, Seems a little no, suspicious. I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain. Why? I cannot allow that. <laughs> Threaten him. No, I'm gonna insist. I have, as of yet, to present myself. I'm Lady de Sarde, Legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. I don't want to like threaten people. You know, I'm trying to be a good have person. I you and shown more respect. That's fine. Just let us middle. see the body. Examine him if you must, but please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. That's fine. I won't do anything. Like, why is this guy so weird? Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at this kid. Oh no. Uh. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rainer. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. We'll need to examine the body to learn more. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. Okay. I'm no doctor. But this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. It's suspicious. Why the didn't the doctor I lie then? He himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Okay, this seems a little bit weird. Um, the fact that the doctor's like, yeah, he just drowned. Like, what the hell? Okay, the autopsy. The subject is a young man under the age of 20. He has several hem... Hemant... 
Hematis? How do you say that? On entirely of the body's surface, some more recent than others, forearm bones are broken, uh, lesions on hands, several broken ribs, skull is sunken, likely cause of death. So he fell, someone pushed him in there, they beat him. Yeah, why is the doctor, excuse me, let me talk to this freaking man. Yo, why are you lying to me? Excuse me, doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I you assure you. You your nose, you The science of death Jesus. is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. Excuse me? That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. Oh, what an idiot. I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I fire I swear this I have man. Never, Who the hell is this guy? A report before, but I was given no choice in the matter. Why? How's that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me, telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. Andevors Tire. That means, may the earth welcome him. I am sorry for you, Kurt. Thank you, Siora. Siora's so sweet! I love her! Oh my god! Okay, uh, we gotta freaking find these men, though. Hey! Where's your men? Hello, Your Excellency. Don't hello, Your Excellency, you? me! <laughs> we have a situation, Manfred. Reina didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Why? Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Yeah, dude, you're Not the quartermaster. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious... No, no, this is important because if is they're guarding else? my cousin, nah. Uh, I don't no, want these people you. around, okay? If I they're just murdering the their own. Mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Yeah, me Even either. Let's go. Weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Reyna was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Yeah, this must be it. Are you it? Yep. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lady. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tier 3D. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Yeah. Excuse me, Excellency. I, I didn't know. Captain, I, I truly am sorry. At your service, my lady. Excellency. <laughs> okay, um... You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? Yeah, because quite you're kind of scared. You recruit. I joined up four months ago. But at the beginning, we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene. But I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the guard. 
to you're Korea, not the lie. To the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Excellency! I saw you in the palace, if I'm not mistaken. Your Excellency has a good eye and memory. I am one of the officers, in charge of the protection of your cousin's counselors. Okay. How can I help you? How about Rainer? We are investigating the death of a young recruit. A certain Rainer. I've never heard the name before. He's not one of my men. I know. But you might at least have heard someone mention him in passing. Did he die at the palace? No. We have no idea where it happened, only where the body was found. So? I'm, I'm sorry. That doesn't ring any bells. None at all. Um... Should I it, do it myself or Kurt? Maybe, let's try Kurt. I recruited the lad myself, Lieutenant. And just a while ago, I saw his body broken and bruised in the morgue. Someone has been trying to cover this up, to lead us down false trails at every turn. But Rayner deserves justice. I know you have to understand that. I hear you. The murder of one of our own should not go unpunished. But alas... I don't know how I can help you. This is the first I've heard about it. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't help. Let's talk to this guy over here. Excuse me. Good day, Lieutenant. Milady, you're one of the governor's confidants, are you not? Indeed. De Sardé, the governor's legate. My sincere pardon, Excellency. I didn't want to show any disrespect. It's, it's fine. It's Captain, <laughs> Lieutenant. How can I help you? We seek information concerning a young recruit. A certain Rainer. Rainer? Sorry, name isn't familiar to me. He must be with another company. Seems like he's familiar with Kurt, but would he lie to me? That's the thing. Are you absolutely sure? The young man is dead. His body was found in the bay two days ago. We were told that he had drowned, but we know for a what fact a he was a victim <laughs> of an assassination. I did hear talk of a young Oh my god, there's an the NPC water. there! Move! That's my sector. But I was told that it was an accident, and I had no reason to doubt it. Are you sure the lad was murdered? Yeah, Absolutely 100% certain. sure we saw. Beaten to death, to be precise. Well, that's horrible. But I don't know anything about it. Too bad. Thank you all the same. Goodbye, Lieutenant. No one freaking knows? Are these people lying? At your service, my lady. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, my lady. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. The guy said Anything 6 else? or 11th, right? Do you know a recruit going by the name of Reyna? Reyna? I... It's just... Excellency, please. The boy is terrified now that he knows who we are. So long as he's in that state, he'll say nothing of worth. You should bring him a bottle to calm his nerves. That will be all, soldier. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, May I think this guy knows. I don't think he's a part of it. He knows, though. But uh, I think he's just scared because someone might kill him for it. So, yeah, let's buy him a bottle. Hello. What can I pour for you? Okay, let's buy a bottle. Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful, she's got a strong bite. Alright, now we got this. Let's give it to this kid. At your service, my lady. Excellency. Here. You seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. You mean Drink. her? That's how <laughs> They still haven't changed like with the pronouns no. depending on which Desardé Why didn't you, you tell make. us what you know about Reyna? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and uh, 
followed orders, and then, poof, Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your Lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Um... Alright, so I gotta question more people, but that's okay. Uh, let's go back to the barracks of, uh, the regiment and see if this guy will answer to any of his crimes. <laughs> hey! Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? He's got a goatee, I don't trust him. <laughs> Could you tell me which company you serve? The 11th, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rayner. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. Yeah. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. Yeah. I, I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes. Of course. But you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. What the we'll hell's going on in this place? <laughs> Anything else? Wait until night. Eh, we could insist on. Okay, I don't want anyone you, else Lieutenant. to be killed, though. That's Farewell. the thing. That um... man was shaking and looking over his shoulder, as if he thought a predator had caught his scent. Whatever could terrify your warriors to jitter so? I don't know yet, but I will find out, Siora. How do we wait till sundown? That's uh, my question right now. While we're at it, let's talk to Kurt. Let's roll as Master of Arms. What is your duty as Master of Arms? Besides teaching us how to fight. What was my duty, you mean? It's all in the past now. That's true. In truth, you may have guessed it, but my main role was to make sure that nothing would happen to you and Constantine. Without, of course, turning you into some courtiers that are afraid of stink. You have to be considered trustworthy to take on this role. But alas, it isolates you from the rest of the guards. Always at the courts, but never really belonging to it. I spent almost my entire time with you without seeing my comrades. Anything else? Tell me about your family. Were your parents in the guard as well? Yes. And to be truthful, I never knew them. I was entrusted to a wet nurse, oh. a prostitute, and followed the troops. I remember her. She was sweet and a good person. She may be the only one who showed me any kind of affection. But that didn't last. As soon as I could hold a wooden sword, I was given a real one and sent to training. Anything else? So he doesn't even know his family or anything like that. Okay. I must leave you. Okay. Um, I don't know how to, like... Wait till nightfall. It's like one thing I want to do. I have some points since, um, you know, I leveled up and stuff like that. But so I have some divine magic, one handed heavy weapon, one handed blades, firearm. I actually want to learn firearms. That's something I actually want to learn. Um, so yeah, I think I can use uh, firearms now, right? Yeah, I can! Sweet! How do I, like, use this, though? That's my question. How do I get out my, my, my firearm? Find.
Oh, that's so cool. Oh, okay. I, I, sorry. I didn't mean to just like straight up shoot the place, but uh, that's how I use it. So I can't really aim then, can I? I guess I can only like use it once. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm using it wrong. I have no idea. Oh, it's nighttime now. Okay. I was just messing about in in uh in the governor's office, but now it's nighttime. I just have to wait. I, I was wondering if there was like a faster way to do it, like I could go to sleep or something like that, then it would be nightfall, but I just have to wait for the game to do it. Alright, let's go talk to the guy. Whoa! Wait, where are these people? Oh, they're there. How do I attack with this? Oh, okay, it's like that. I didn't even get to kill the guy because, uh, you know. Oh my goodness. These guys are just waiting out here for us. Alright, let's go in here and talk to the dude. And this is like that, the guard's barracks. Come on, guys. You're supposed to be guarding this place and there's like thugs outside. We are quite alone now. You may speak to us. Reyna was indeed a member of my company. And an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rainer wasn't the only man to have... So there's multiple people just I learned that taking them? Why? Recruits, all the cream of the crop had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. Phantom I regiment. Being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the sixth might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the sixth if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Okay, what the hell? Ghost regiment? That's so weird. I have to go upstairs. Is this guy in here? Yeah, he is in here. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? What company do you serve? The Sixth Excellency. Anything else? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry. We respect to the letter, congregation, directives, and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? Yeah, Ghost Regiment. Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. Oh, you don't, do you? Um... You know what, Kurt? You want to take this one? Are you certain you don't know where this Phantom Regiment camp can be found? Absolutely certain. And to be honest... I hope I never hear about this matter again. Rayner was one of my recruits, Lieutenant. A young man that I admired. He was killed. His death was disguised. We've been lied to time and time again. Thanks to my friend, we finally learned that the boy had rejoined the Phantom Regiment. And so now, you're gonna tell me all you know without being a weasel about it. Trust me, you don't want me to lose my nerve. Yeah, he's about to whack Captain, this guy. <laughs> I... Now! Seen the regiment. 
Oh, Even I got a beside them on an operation. minus one on reputation. Sorry. Our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. I hope you realize the risk I'm taking talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. What is the wrong with is these people? Arduous. I would fire all of them. My guess is that Rainer isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city, where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. I can't see you, Kurt. <laughs> If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me. All right, okay, so um wow i am level four now oh we got a new reputation with kurt wait nice yeah so kurt likes us now this is the benefit of doing you know uh companion quests because they'll end up liking you and becoming friends okay oh i don't have a lockpick thing my bad okay so I have something I can use in this, uh, thing. I also can use it in this. Ooh. Willpower is definitely one of them that I want to use. Yes. And then I have something for here. Set trap, one-handed blades. I actually want to learn one-handed? What is the other one? Sass it. Status? Give you time to eliminate others. I actually want one-handed. Let's learn this one. Wait, can I not learn it? Oh, it needs two points, my bad. Deals with more damage. Let's do this longer. Shadow missile and shadow mi Okay, you know what? We'll do with the magic damage, because that's what I need anyway. So yeah, we'll we'll learn that skill. Um Yeah, I need to learn one-handed blade, because I wanna use this weapon. This seems like a better one than uh one-handed heavy weapon. That's just my opinion though. Green blood, my friend. Do he calls him my friend now. Green blood, my friend. See how he feels about uh, you Rainer. You seemed really attached to Rainer. He brought some memories back. I was a bit like him at his age. I felt responsible for his well-being. After all, I recruited him. Why? Don't tell me you're jealous of this poor kid. No, tell me, uh, tell him that you wondered whether he had been something more between them. Ask him if he had thought about having children. That's so random. Tell him if he could be, uh, that so, you, so that it was so you could understand him better. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say so I could understand him better. Don't be foolish. It's just that you seemed so hurt about everything he went through. I wanted to understand how you felt. That's kind. I'm sorry I made that stupid comment. It's okay, I could have made a stupider comment. <laughs> this whole matter makes me nervous. I should have known that you were far too subtle to feel like that. Anything else? Reputation. Okay, went higher with uh, Kurt. How's has you, you told me that you enlisted memories. at a very young age? But do you have any pleasant memories of your childhood? Some, yes. Why? What kind of memories were you thinking about? How's your first love? Why don't you tell me about your first love? There isn't much to tell. It was pretty soppy. 
like most childhood flings. You know what I mean. I think I remember you making eyes at some dandy not so long ago. <laughs> oh, Kurt. How can you be so naive? I was only looking at that young idiot to make you feel jealous. Oh! <laughs> Boys, you were but a child. You weren't into old geezers like me back then. Anything else? I don't think he isn't that much older than freaking uh, Desarde. I must leave you. I don't think so. Oh my god, Kurt, you're funny. Okay, um, I'm glad we got a better, uh, you know, friendship with Kurt. That's something that I was trying to do with the companions. But now that we dealt with uh, Rainer and we have the ghost company, I guess we're gonna have to like deal with that quest a little bit later. Wait for Kurt to obtain information, so we can't even do anything about it. We're gonna have to like do it later. We're gonna have to um, do the main quest now, which is. Meet the Bridge Alliance, reach out to the village of Vitaris. So we have two right now. One that uh, Constantine gave us and one that Siora has for us too. Um, I kind of want to do Siora's first. Uh, no offense to Constantine, but I will do the other one uh, afterwards. I do, I am curious about this one though. So let's, um, how do we get out of here is my question. Oh. Exploration. Tier Varde is made up of several regions connected to each other. As you explore, you'll discover campsites that allow you to rest in quick travel. When you reach the end of the road, use the travel interface to select your destination. There are caravans near major cities so that you can quickly travel from one city to another. Okay, cool. So, I'm a, I don't know if it's like the same with every other RPG that I know. Like, if you um, travel at night, the enemies are a lot harder. I don't know if that's the same idea here but we're gonna find out so let's go to uh siora's uh village oh it's a man bro don't get near me ow ass Jesus. All right. That was interesting. Uh, everyone did a good job, though. That, good job, everyone. Can I loot this guy? There we go. Whoa, so they killed a bunch of people here. What the hell? Let's go over here. Over here. Yep. Okay, so tr fast travel. We're going to the next place. Merchant camps. During long journeys, you can stop by wandering merchant camps. There will be buy and sell items for your companions to access your chest. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, it's, uh, Vasco. Desarde. Hello. I have a favor to ask. What's up? Very well. I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well, I'm like him. A donation to the sea. Yeah. My family also gave me to the Nords. I don't know anything about my real family, except that they are probably affluent and from the congregation. When I was born, the Norts and the Merchant Princes had a complex relationship. I must have been used to settle a debt or forge a truce, but that doesn't matter. The mystery of my origins has- He wants to know where he came from. Obsession. I need to know where I come from. That's, if that's I were fair. enough, I'd wait to become a fleet commander and then I would be told. But since being laid off, such a promotion seems somewhat improbable. And you want me to help you find this information? You understand correctly. The records of all seamen stationed on the island are in their respective ports. Seamen. Mine must be in the harbor office <laughs> in and it must contain- I am five years old. But if I go there, I'd be spotted right away. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Uh, yeah, sure. Of course. But you'll have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any Noughts to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the Noughts are still my family. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. Oh, so we're taking him now? Oh, I was gonna do to see your- I guess we're doing a companion episode. I hope you guys don't mind. But it helps us understand, um, all our, um, companions. Okay, I guess we're gonna go with, uh, your quest for now. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbor office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. 
There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes, but since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search? It's a proven technique. And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Okay. Let's get a sleeping potion. Then we'll go see Dieter. All right, let's get some sleeping potions. Where the hell can I get that? I don't even know. Um... Ah, here we go. Sleeping potions. Um, so we need like four, right? Thank you for your visit. All right. So we gotta go to the brothel now and see if they can help us. I have to convince them to help us. Okay, let's see if we can talk to the guy. It's downstairs apparently, so we gotta go down to the stairs. This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. What? Sorry, but I can't let you in. Um, do you know who I am? Oh, God. I guess we have to pay her, right? We In gotta that go case, upstairs. allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. So they know who I am. Ha 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 ha, why do you seem so suspicious? Okay. Okay, um... This seems like a fun place to be! Okay, uh, so I have to go in here. Why is everyone just standing around looking weird? Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? Talked about dr drinks uh, shipments. It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So, there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dita, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. Hmm. I have to pay the money, don't I? Because, like, Kirk could, like, you know, be mean to them, but I lose my reputation every- Ah, oh, frig, okay. I did not think for a moment to request this service without offering fair compensation for your efforts. Ah, now you're speaking Yeah, because he seems language. like a haggler, right? He runs if a brothel. If those are the terms, I'll even put gunpowder in it. <laughs> so then, we agree? Yes, that's fine. Tonight your friends will receive their delivery seasoned. All right, thank now, you. give me the sleeping potion. Damn, I just lost a hundred coins, but you know what? It's you okay. To slip into the harbor master's office. This is for Vasco. <laughs> still dress as one of us, just to make sure you avoid confrontation. Good idea. I'll see to it. Okay. So I need like your outfit. Um. Let's get out of here first of all. How do I dress like you though, Vasco? You gotta help me out. We have an apartment here or something like that. Uh, cause apparently I'm not living in the governor's, uh, place. Is this my house? Your accommodation as diplomat and accommodation is available to you in many cities and different nations. There you will find crafting table, uh, storage chest and, and your companions. You can also rest and travel from this place. Ooh, let's go inside. Hey! Alright, cool. So this is my place, huh? How- <laughs> how convenient! I have a painting of my cousin! Oh my god. So I can store stuff in here too! Oh wow, that's cool! Store stuff. I can craft- there's a crafting table. Craftsmanship allows you to upgrade your weapons and armor. Science allows you to create potions and traps. You need knowledge to be able to use a crafting to obtain it. So I have to like, uh, get these skills so I can actually like, do that. That's actually really cool. Whoa. So I can upgrade this, right? Can I upgrade this? 
Oh, it looks like how Dragon Age used to like upgrade their weapons. So yeah, you can see like you can pick the different materials that they're you're gonna use, and for like the pommel and stuff like that. I I, I obviously don't have anything right now, but like that's actually really cool. And then you can go to sleep. Let's see what else we got up here. I like these these digs. This is pretty nice for our own place. But yeah, I can definitely just go to sleep. That's what I was looking for before. Like, how do I go to sleep? So at least I found my house. <laughs> I don't know how to dress up as a knot. Am I like blind to like how, how to do this? It's like a problem. Oh my god. Okay, let's just do it. Dieter's girls will arrive later tonight. In your usual clothes, you'll not go unnoticed at the port. But it's up to you. Uh, yeah, let's we'll wait. wait for Dieter's girls to do their work as planned. Then we'll enter. Very well. It's definitely the safer option. Dieter's girls are gone. Your guard should get a good night's sleep now. You should go. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. So we can't kill anyone. I gotta sneak around and... Oh my god. I'm not even dressed as a knot, so this is, like, bad. Okay, that one is drinking, so they're all busy drinking. Maybe I can go through here. Okay, zone so controlled by other factions. Yeah, I'm, I'm forbidden here, actually, so I understand. Basically, I just need to sneak around, make sure no one sees me. Why is that a free- is that a drunk guy or a dead guy? Okay. Alright. I- I knew I could do that before, but that's probably loud. It's all knocked out, right? Okay. Let's go in here. It's blocked. What? Crap. Kurt, come on, let's go upstairs. Damn, this guy took a tumble down the stairs! <laughs> Jesus. Where the hell do I get his personal files at? Um... It's in here. Yeah, it's in here. Okay. I got his stuff. Now let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully no one woke up. It's blocked. I was able to recover your file, Basco. And nobody saw me. Perfect. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. I may have left so, a hole in the wall, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> so I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles. Yo, you're rich! Yes. I must admit that I had no idea they had given a son to the Norts. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco. But growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. No, because you have a lot of expectations. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? <laughs> I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. 
No problem. You gave me back my identity. You're welcome. This is more important than the Nords care to admit. Yay! All right, we made a friendship with Vasco. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm glad that we got uh, some relationship with him. Can I do anything for you? Whether he wished he was never given to the Nords. Let's ask about that. Do you wish personal. you were never given to the Nords? How could I not be regretful? I never got to experience a mother's love or a lavish youth. Ask him if he has any happy memories. Tell him that you're sorry this happened to him. Tell him that life as a sailor has made him a better man. I, I mean... Would it be weird to say that? Like, say, I think you're a better man because of, like, who you are? Because he seems to be proud of being a knot, right? Most nobles are uninteresting. Life as a sailor is much more exciting, at least. Perhaps, but I would have preferred to choose my own destiny. Did you want anything else? Oh! Had you ever heard about- No, I had not. And there was a time. I don't remember your family very well, but I could try to tell you about them if you want. I would have loved to have met them, but I'm afraid that hearing about them may only reopen old wounds. You're a good person, Desarde, and I'm touched by your solicitude. Did you want anything else? Okay, you know what? I've come to the conclusion that Vasco is so hard to read. Like, it seems like he wants to open up, but then when I try to do it, he's just like, no, thank you. <laughs> like, what the heck? Oh I'm my god. Me. You're so confusing. Well, you know, at least I got a relationship with Vasco. Uh, Sura, Siora is the last person that I need to, uh, you know, be friends with, but that's when we start her own quests and stuff like that. Um... But I guess I'm gonna end this episode right here. <laughs> Even though I didn't get far in the main story, it is important for me to, you know, make friendships with the companions. And I think, I think I'm gonna romance Kurt. Cause like, it seems like he's easy to get along with. That's just my opinion. I do like his personality. I'm interested in Vasco because he's mysterious, but like, I can't read him that well. And Ciara seems like a sweetheart, but I don't know her that well yet. So uh, we're gonna have to do her quest next. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Greedfall, remember to leave a like, let me know in the comments what you think, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!